Hey guys, so I wanted to show you this pattern that I have had a request for. It's a long um, cap for skiing and I already have the tan one all spun up and it's straight alpaca so it's very soft and for the black stripes that have been requested I don't have any black fleece. So what I'm doing is I went and took Kid Mohair, some of my Romney wool and some Angora Rabbit, and I've already put it through the carter once. Now anytime you do something that is very short and free of crimp um, and a little stiff, anything like that, or something that's really soft and really short, just pretty much anything, <laughs> anything that isn't wool can be difficult to put through a carter without it bunching up. And so what I have here is this lovely black alpaca that I got from Growing in Faith Farms. And um, I have taken it through a series of carding processes with my darkest browns and added a little bit more every time I card through so that at this point what I have is something very close to black, even though most of it is actually a brown wool product. Brown wool and... Um, baby mohair. So I'll show you how you do that. Now in all of the carding uh, processes that I've seen, anything like this, that, this that I already showed you, has to be sandwiched between layers of wool, something that will hold on to these shorter fibers and let it blend in. Otherwise it just poofs up on the carding uh, machine. So I'm going to put down a base layer and first off I cleaned the carding um, drum because I didn't want any white fiber in it. So my base layer is going to be this that I've already carded that's quite sticky, long wool. Otherwise, those small fibers get caught on the drum itself and you can't get them to come up when you're ready for um, to take the bat off. So, there's that. I now have my base layer. Now with these carding uh, drums you have to be really careful not to put too much through at a time and that your uh, product is open. Otherwise, everything just bunches up. And I'll show you what that looks like. So these are very open. They don't cling to each other at all. So I don't have to froof them as much as I would something like a wool. I don't have a Barbie in here, honey. So here I have the alpaca and I'm going to run it through. And again, it's not matted at all, so it's just going to go through. We'll see if it'll do it. Maybe it won't. When you start a new bat, the problem of it bunching up on your teeth is not as big. But if you can see this little this little piece, I'll put a little bit more on so you can see. So you can see what I mean by um, bunching up. So here's some more. And in a minute, what it'll start to do is it'll start to feed up the teeth on this. Rather than going on to the main drum, it'll start to poof up. Is it going to do it? No, it's going on really well this time. <laughs> Darn it. It's going to do it perfectly this time to show that I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, the, emptier, the emptier your card is, the more these short fibers are going to go on the way that you want them to. However... These are so so um, uncrimpy and so short that when you start to um, spin with them, they'll pull out of your hand. They're just very, very slick. And so even, for, even if it wasn't about the carding and it was just about the spinning, I like to have that wool in there to hold all these short, slick pieces together so that they blend in. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get it to do it that time. Because I don't, I don't think you guys can necessarily see that. I see some. There we go. Some came up. The fuller your your big drum gets, the more of that you get until you hold it down with another piece of long. So here's my long. I'm gonna open it up nice and big. And what it's doing is it it's sandwiching these really short fibers that I just put on between two layers of long fiber. Um, is this the kind of yarn, the kind of wool you're making? Yeah. So 
I know. Kind and you see, this is starting to bunch up. Sometimes what you'll get here is um, slubs, but for the most part, it's just that you're either turning your crank too fast. I need I need you to get off the ball, please, because you're moving the camera. Thank you. Um, but for the most part, what it means is that you're turning your handle too fast, or you didn't open up your um, fiber enough. So I'm going to get another piece. Um, right now I'm adding so much black that I'm not being real careful about opening it up enough. Usually this is twice as much as what I would put through at a time because I would be concerned about it starting to build up on the tee. So I'm going to slow down just a little bit because it is quite a bit. And I'm going to watch in here and if I start to see things ball up and start to roll on themselves rather than being stretched out onto the teeth, then I know that I need to stop, I need to slow down, I need to maybe take some of this fiber off and make it thinner so that it can get through the fiber I'm putting on without balling it up. Okay. Now, when I start to see that I'm getting too much um, raised material back here, too much of everything is getting balled up, I take this and run it along to press all those balls down. Okay, so now I'm going to add another layer and we'll see if we can get it to ball up to, just to show you. At this point I'm going to do so many more rounds of blending that um, it'll all work out in the end. But I, want, I really want you to see what I mean by these short fibers balling up. Yeah, it still just doesn't want to do it. That's funny, I must be doing something different because every other time it's balled up really quickly. Okay, so it did it a little bit here. So I'm going to take this and push down what's on the big card. Now I will say that once again I want to really be frank about this. If you want a perfect, perfectly clean um, fiber and yarn, you use your Viking combs. I think that's what they're called. Or maybe that's just a brand. Mine are Valkyrie. So these are what will completely clean and take out every single coarse fiber take out any vegetable matter. These are what will completely clean and make your worsted yarn, which is smooth as silk. And you cannot, they don't make it commercially. Um, everything that's, at least not to my understanding, uh, may, maybe they do. Um, but as far as what you can get in rovings, that's not worsted, that's woolen. And in order to make it worsted, you have to then take your roving and put it on these in order to make it worsted because these align your fibers in a completely parallel fashion to each other um, whereas worsted is kind of, is just jumbled and your carding drum makes woolen not worsted and because of that you will get snarls you will get nips you will get slubs and you'll have vegetable matter in it but as far as like a fiber that's good enough for hats and scarves and stuff like that um, it's good enough. Um, if I was making something that was supposed to be extremely durable and never have any kind of pilling or slubbing or anything, I would do a worsted yarn. But because you have to process it by hand, it's very time consuming.
And I think that the drum carter is just fun. It, it works through things fast enough that you really get to see results very quickly. And so it makes experimentation really fun. And this one is a straw, 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 um, comb. And it came from the Woolery. In fact, this, uh, this carding, uh, drum carter, the hat that I'm making on it now is how I'm paying for this drum carter. And so it was, it was something I was going to be saving money for. And instead now I'm making hats in exchange for this drum carter. So I'm feeling really blessed and really excited to have it. And I have made so many fun bats that I just, I'm really excited to show you guys. But anyway, there's that and what I'm working on and we'll see how black we can get it. I'll probably run these through a few more times to see if I can get them just a little bit blacker. The little white spots you see are part of my, are for my Angora rabbits because they do slub a little bit more easily than anything else. But I'm going to leave them in because I like them. And we'll show this to you guys when, when it's finished. <laughs> 